Hi, I'm Fanny of Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. Today, we're going to learn to use the Taobao app. Let's check it out. Anytime you're looking for anything in China and you want to buy something, everyone is going to say Taobao. It's ubiquitous around China. This is the app that you use to buy anything you can think of. And it's usually really cheap and much, a lot cheaper than if you were to get it in store. So first, let's look at how you can sign up for this. So download the Taobao app. Going back to the beginning, uh, open up your Taobao app. And once you opened it, um, you're getting, <laughs> you'll get the screen. And the screen is full of things. And it's all in Chinese and it looks really complicated and very busy and it's kind of scary but don't worry we're gonna go through this so at the very top you're gonna see all the different icons and it's like different ways to buy things the Tmall, the Tmall supermarket, uh, delivery, uh, Tmall import export uh, there's a bunch of things that you can purchase but we're gonna skip that because we're gonna use to find items that we want you're gonna keep scrolling and the first part is all the suggestions. They'll tell you, hey, take a look at these, buy these things, look at these watermelon, these dresses, things that you like. And then something will come up to ask you to like, hey, I got this part for you to go down. These are suggestions, items that they want to suggest to you. If you press that, it'll bring you directly to all the items that you can purchase. So let's scroll all the way down there. So starting from here, you're going to see all the individual items. Um, these are kind of like Amazon. They, these are suggestions that they've already made for you based on your past purchases, based on your past searches. So I was searching for phone cases. I was searching for dresses. I was searching for meat. <laughs> so a bunch of things. So. You're looking at this and you're wondering, how am I supposed to do a search? Let's do one really quickly. So the search uh, box is all the way at the top here. So you can search whatever you like. Um, I already searched for a lot of things. You can see in my history. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna search for a lady's toiletry bag. So you can put these your searches in English and it'll come up. Things will come up. So don't worry if you don't know the Chinese word for it. But if you do know the Chinese word for it, it's probably going to find more uh, more searches because most of the stores on Taobao sell to Chinese people. So most of their items are written in Chinese. But there are a lot of stores that sell to foreigners as well. So there are English on there as well. So I'm scrolling through any of these uh, toiletry bags that I'm after. Oh, this one looks really cute. So I'm going to click on it. And once you click on it, you're gonna see pictures. This one has a video icon, so I can like uh, see the videos. The video will give you more idea of how these items or these products work, as you can see here. And you can just keep scrolling, and this one's got one out of five pictures, so let's scroll. So you can take a look at these pictures, but let me explain all the other things on here as well. The ones in red is the price. So it's 19.8 to 27.8. That's a discounted price. You can see the regular price in gray below that's crossed out. That's the name of the item. It's in Chinese. That's all right. Uh, here on the left is delivery cost. So if it's a zero, that means you don't have to pay delivery. Some items you do have to pay six up to $10, up to more depending on the item and depends on the seller, whether they will absorb your delivery costs or not. Uh, in the middle here, it's telling you how many of this item it has sold. It looks like it's sold 14,757 items, so that's pretty good. And on the right here is uh, where it's located. It's in Chinese, but this one is located in Shanghai. And if you look at this, the very top here, it um, tells you if there's any type of promotion here. It says here, if you buy three items, there's going to be some kind of reward. If you keep scrolling down this section here, uh, it's the 
points because uh, all the items can be reviewed, all the stores can be reviewed. So this is someone's review of what they bought. Uh, this person says, the second time I bought this, it's very cute. I bought it to give my friend, blah, blah, blah. A lot of Chinese people like to write reviews. Sometimes these reviews though can be bought. So kind of take a grain of salt with that. So don't believe in all the reviews you read. Most of the reviews are in Chinese anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then there's pictures of people's actual product when they bought it. So you can look through those products to see if they match what you're actually buying. And then there's like a, a FAQ also in Chinese, so you can just kind of skip through it. Here, this part, if you've ever bought from the store and you really liked it and you want to see what else they have, press this orange button here. It means to go into the store. This is the store name and let's go in. So once you've entered their store, this is something that this seller has created and you can see all the stores were going to look different, but you just browse through them. Uh, the first one is like the home page and it has like feature products, whatever. Uh, second one is videos, uh, things that you can see of each of the different products they sell. The third one is all of the products that they sell. So you can just kind of scroll through it and see what other products you like. They do sell some really cute things. Oh, I kind of like these ones too. All right. And then there's the uh, new products. So they have two new products and uh, just uh, kind of a message from them like a Twitter or like a Facebook update every message that they put in. So you just go through it. Okay, let's go back to every product. If you like the products, you can choose to look at it this way or this other way, like the different ways. You can choose by price. So once I press that button once, it's the lowest price will be shown first and then the higher prices below. But let's go back. Once you've just, uh, and we'll keep scrolling through the original product. So once you scroll through all those pictures at the top, we're gonna go down here and you can see even more uh, description of the product. Uh, some products you'll find have a lot of descriptions. Some of them there won't be. But it's better to kind of look through all of these before you decide to buy something. Even though it's in Chinese, the numbers are in, you know, they're not in any language, so you can tell that. And the pictures are here. You can see what everything looks like. You keep scrolling through it. Sometimes they have a lot of pro uh, pictures because they want to show you every little detail, like how the zipper looks like. And this is basically the guarantee. It's all in Chinese, so we can skip that. And if you need to, you, you want to go back to the top and you, you don't want to scroll, just press this button. Brings you back to the top. All right, so now that you've decided, oh, look, hey, I think I want this. Um, there are two buttons on the bottom here. The light orange one means that you're going to add it to your cart. The right, uh, the dark orange means you're going to buy it immediately. Let's just try to add something to our cart. So press this button. Okay, once you've pressed the button, remember at the beginning they showed the price range. So they have several products that could be as low as 19 and going up to as high as 27. And all of these are in Chinese, but if you click on them, the picture should change so you know what it is. So I clicked on this and the picture has changed to this really cute cat bag and the price is 19.8. And it's telling you that this one has about 479 items left. So you keep clicking and you can see what each one is. If you want to see a bigger picture, just click on the picture and you can see that this is really cute. It's really adorable. So you keep clicking. So here for the 19.8, that's a smaller size. You can see it compared to a bottle here. And this one is a little bit bigger. and the prices keeps going up or whatever. So yeah, so, and then if you scroll down here, you can choose whether you wanted to buy one of it, two of it, however many as you want, they have about 500. So let me choose one that I think is super cute. 
Ooh, I like this one. I think this is really cute. So once I've decided that I want this, I'm going to add it to my cart. So now it's added to your cart and you can tap back and keep scrolling through what you want. If you're just browsing, you don't have anything to search for, go back to the beginning. And this is all the items that they've decided maybe you want to take a look at and you just keep scrolling through it. I also want to mention that at the bottom, after you scroll through all of these things, you'll notice even more products come up. Let me scroll through all of this. These are similar products or similar items that the store might sell or other things that you have looked at. So you don't have to go all the way back to the front to see. So these are some of the things I might have looked at before. Ooh, I like this one. This is the makeup bag. Yeah, so, ooh, I like this, I like this one. So I can tell you, you can see like the different sizes and I think I'm gonna add this one to my, as well. So I want the star, oh, I like the stripe one. Okay, so small, medium, or large. I'm gonna go with medium. I'm gonna add it to my cart. All right, so let's go back and you know, you can keep scrolling through things that you might like Okay, all right. So let's go back. To, uh, so let me tell you about these icons on the very bottom here. So the first one, this rocket one, if you press it, it, goes back to the very top. So you're gonna have to keep scrolling down again. Second button is like um, news, uh, anything that's trending right now, any news, any items that people are talking about. So this is where you'll find it. Uh, the bubble with the conversation bubble that one is if you have any messages from like chatting with people oops or any notifications like there was a big sale happen recently um, if you had any conversations with people that you purchased from okay and on the next to it the shopping cart is all the things that you have in your cart so once you've added a couple of things, you're like, you know, I'm done. I want to go and check out now. So click on the shopping cart and kind of look through the things that you have uh, put in your cart. You don't have to buy them all. So maybe I'll take this one, this one, this one. You can see I have quite a bit of stuff in my shopping cart. Oh, I don't think I want this one yet. So you can just leave it in there and let, let it stew and then decide whether you want to buy it now. You can buy it later. Got some other things that I want to look at. As you can see, I've already have um, a lot of things in my cart. So you can keep all these things in your cart for as long as you want. The only time it's going to disappear is when that item is no longer on sale. And you see here, these are the three items that I had put in my cart before and it's no longer on sale. And this button is, if you still want to get it, you can press that button here and it'll bring you to find something similar to that thing. So let's try that. So that's kind of, these are some similar items that I want to go back. All right. And again, here are even more suggestions based on your purchasing history and uh, browsing history of things that you might like. Okay, so you can see here that I've chosen two items and the price together is 20 and that's two items. So if I press the orange button, it brings me to here. Now, this is where you have to make sure that your address and your phone number is correct. If it isn't, then you can like click on it and then you can add another address. If you wanna add your address, press the orange button here and they'll ask for the name phone number, uh, location, so you can choose here if it's in China. And the very bottom, if you want it delivered outside of China, that's where you choose. And they'll ask you what country it is. 
this part, you'll probably need a bit more Chinese. Your address should be in all Chinese. Uh, and if you don't, you can just copy and paste from a Word document or some note that you had, just your address in Chinese. And then press save top right button here. All right, so I've chosen my address. I'm gonna use my address. And here, before you purchase, they're gonna tell you, hey, look, this is the item you bought. It was eight RMB. The delivery is gonna be six RMB, okay? So the total of that item is actually 14, which is fine. Uh, this is another item that you wanted to purchase. It's 12 RMB. The delivery is free, so total is 12. So this middle here is actually if you want to make sure that you get the item, uh, it's an extra, I think it's like an insurance cost. I'm not really sure. I never really use it because, you know, a lot of the items that I purchase are very, very cheap. So if it kind of gets lost in the mail, I'd be a little bit sad, but I could always buy it again. All right, so now you can see here, again, this is your address and this is the whole total cost is 26 RMB. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm done, so I'm gonna purchase it. Press on the orange button here, and it's gonna bring up my Alipay. So Alipay will ask you this, tell you this is how much you want to pay. That's your account number, and you can choose to pay with your bank card or your balance. So I'm gonna choose to pay. If you wanna pay with your bank card, it's the one with the RMB sign here. I'm gonna choose to pay with my balance, All right? And Press the orange, uh, the blue button, and we're good. Now enter your uh, password. This is the password that you use on Alipay to purchase things. And it's done. You've just, I've just made two purchases. So if you wanna check what you've purchased, on the bottom here, go to your profile. Once you go to your profile, you can click here. This is the items that you have purchased, but they haven't been shipped yet. Once they've been shipped, they will be under here. See, now right now it's empty. And if you ever want to see all the items that you have purchased in the past, go to the wallet one on the far left and press everything. So these are all the things that I have purchased. So if you ever need to know, oh, I bought this thing, it was great, I want to buy it again. For example, these trays, I want to buy these again so press on it go back to it and then you know you're back in the same store that you have purchased it and then choose what you want i'm going to purchase this one now it's added to my cart and you can go back to your cart and there it is all right so i've made all these purchases and already see this bubble comes up that I got a message. So let's see what this message is. So this message, uh, often, a lot of times people will say, is this the correct address to send this to you? And if you need to change, click on the left side and on the right means, yes, this is correct. So now that I've let them know that this is the correct address, that they'll send me the items. So there you go. I've just made two purchases on Taobao. It's easy as that. And yeah, go back to the home screen and you can scroll and look through any items you want. Find your searches in English and it's really, really easy. So as you can see, once I made this purchase, I actually have an uh, app that tells me what the tracking is, but I'll tell you about it next time. All right, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it's been really helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if you like this video and we have many more like these coming up, please like and subscribe to us. Have a great day. Bye.